go before the Lord in prayer. I will pray. Please let us hear the prayer for Sister Regina Cliff. Also let us pray for Sister uh, Virginia. Amen. And, uh, Virginia Reed. Let us pray for Sister Virginia Reed. Are there any other unspoken prayer requests? Are there any other unspoken prayer requests? Please let us know by raising your hand. God, we do not lift off our hands in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity for us to come and feel strong with grace to receive mercy and help, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for bless us, Lord, to wake up this morning clothed in our right mind, but reasonable force in our health and our strength. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord Jesus, with a mind and a desire, Lord, to come out to the house of God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your presence that we feel right now in this sanctuary, Lord. And Lord, I ask, Lord, that all these prayer requests that have been submitted before you, Lord, touch and move in each and every one of them according to your will, Lord. And Lord, I ask, Lord, that you will uh, prepare our hearts to receive your word, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask you to send the anointing that will destroy the yoke in Jesus' name we pray. Lord, touch all those, Lord, that right now, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray, Lord. Lord, let your word fall upon good ground and take root in our hearts in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.
cup of blood running warm through my back. Oh, glory. I said, Lord, you're good. Yeah. I got up this morning, I turned the key to that old bed and started up. I said, Lord, you're good. Yeah. When I got here, I felt his presence in the house of the Lord. And I said, Lord, you are good. Yeah. I'm going to let you be God and good. The Lord is good. Yeah. Amen. He is good. All the time. All the time. All the time. Amen. Well, thank you for coming out and filming for our family. He does a great and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 It's time. We're not going to stop praising, but we are going to praise him with our giving. Amen. And first, we're going to uh, take up the building fund march. And how many of y'all excited for what is going on here at Newburgh Tabernacle? Glory! Amen, amen, amen. And if I will, uh, prayer my heart to give to the building fund, March, I would like to thank all those that donated their, uh, their time, donated money, donated candy to the, to the children's um, and, and younger adults and older adults. Hallelujah now. Amen. We certainly had a wonderful time. Amen. Amen, amen. And uh, I also have two, a few quick announcements here. Uh, first, uh, coming up on uh, Sunday, November the 6th, which is next Sunday, is that correct? Yes. So this is the last day to get your lunch order, your lunch sandwich orders in. There will be, uh, the lunches are $7 on the go, ready for you to take home, including your choice of sandwich, chips, cookies, and drink. Taking orders from October the 16th, through November the 7th. Amen. The menu choice is chicken salad, egg salad, ham or chicken sandwiches, or croissants, two cookies, and soft drinks. And this is raising money for our foreign missions. Amen. 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 So please, everybody, support this effort. Amen. 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 Yes, uh, $7, and that's a good price. Amen. Amen. So everybody, please support this effort. Amen. Amen. And the uh, love. Order forms is on the table out there in the foyer. So please pick up one and fill them out and have, have them turned into Sister. Who I turn we turn them into Sister? Sister Vicky? Okay, turn them into Sister Vicky. Sister Vicky, wave your hand. Everybody know that Sister Vicky. Amen. 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 I think that that's all the announcements. Hold on. Oh, sorry. We have one more announcement. It says, she stand. Stand, uh, stand you firm and you will win in life. This is the Oklahoma District Council District Ladies Conference. Beginning November the 11th and the 12th. And the speaker is uh, Stephanie Parkins and Janelle Rom Roman, Romaine, Romaine, amen. And remember, this is the, if you have never been to a district ladies conference, please attend. Amen. This is the district uh, ladies conference at November the 11th and 12th. Please see Sister Alice down the your hand for more details. Amen. So then this is coming from the 11th and the 12th. Amen. And what's that? Amen. That's going to be all the announcements off our heads. Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to give us your kingdom. Lord, we ask you to bless all those who give and bless all those that are out of here that have been given to you. Jesus, and we pray. Amen. Amen.
And then we have uh, Sunday uh, school at 10 a.m. We have morning service at 11. We have evening service and prayer, prayer at 5 30, evening service at 6. Men, uh, Tuesday, we have prayer from 7 to, from, uh, 7.30 to, uh, from 7 to 7 30, excuse me. We have prayer and, and Bible study on Wednesdays, prayer from 7 to 7 30, Bible study begins at 7 30. Minister Adam, please bless the office. Father, we're grateful.
professional preacher. You really can. If you're educated and very smart, you don't need a whole lot of anything just to put a sermon thought together. To impact lives, you need something. You need an anointing. Amen. And uh, we're very thankful here today. Uh, this whole month, uh, many people across America have been honoring uh, their pastor and their leader and uh, done, doing many different things uh, to honor them, yeah, their leaders. And we're thankful here today because we thank God has blessed us with a tremendous man of God. Yeah. Yeah.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you all. But, uh, you may think you know me, but I know myself better. And uh, I am human. And uh, it's such an honor just to be able to help people get to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. I made a vow some years ago. I felt so in debt to the Lord. How he picked me up. How I'm lucky to my replay. And I, I said, if I could just help one person. Forgive me. What he has done for me. And I, I thought about it and I said, I'm all in for this. Amen. Amen. And I don't believe in quitting. Amen. Tell you a little story. I went to the military when I was 17 years old. Weighed 129 pounds, so wet. And we had um, guys from Baltimore and Philadelphia. And those guys from Philadelphia was picking on the be more careful guys. The guys that was from Baltimore. And I got tired of them. They had a big old guy, he was like a giant from Philadelphia. <laughs> I told him, I said, meet me out on the sand pit. <laughs> I was a little runt by then. I'm 29 pounds. This old big old guy out there. Praise God. And when I challenged that giant, he backed down. <laughs> I left that sand pit. Amen. <laughs> Just about wiping my head for <laughs> And this challenge, I'm going to preach about something today. I'm going to talk about some giant. Amen. I invite your attention to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8. And then Romans 1, chapter, I mean Romans 1, verse 17. Paul's second epistle to the Corinthians, the fourth chapter, is the eighth verse, the King James Version. We are in trouble on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Romans, the first chapter, the 17th verse, the King James Version. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Praise God. Would you join hands with someone? Let's pray. Be God, for she love our God. The yellow yellow she love our God. Lord, speak in the service today. We need your help here. The yellow yellow she love our God. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Will you clap your hands? Thank you. I want to preach on this subject, giants to face. When we think in terms of giants, we think that they are strong, mighty, and big. Throughout life, we cannot help but face giants. Over and over again. And you travel with this life, you're going to face giants. One of the biggest giants that you have to face is your flesh. Well, amen, preach. Yes. Hello. Your flesh is a giant. Yes, it is. All right, now. Amazing, amen. How Apostle Paul.
Paul, he certainly knew about trouble. He wrote about being beaten, put in prison, left for dead, stoned, left out in the water for a day and a night, and also the ship, right? You tell me that this man did not face some giants. Oh yeah. But there's something about me, man, this man we can learn from. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. He was a man of great faith. He was a man, a man, went through a whole lot. And at times in our life, we're going to face trouble. Amen. But the key to our success, not to back down on the job. Yeah. Yeah. It amazes me, amen, how sometimes Amen. We can face a little trouble. And then all of a sudden, amen, we're going to lose it. We're just simply going to give up. You see, being a child of God is not a place, amen, for sissies. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. You have to make up in your mind in this walk. That you're gonna fight the fight of faith. Throughout the New Testament, uh-huh. trouble seen to follow Paul everywhere he went. Everywhere the man went. But he remained faithful to God. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, did. Some of us walked in the sanctuary, amen, this morning. Uh-huh. And trouble found you in the sanctuary. Come on. Come on. It amazes me, amen, sometimes how, amen, people will back down. Uh-huh. But it's time to stand up. Uh-huh. I'm talking about faith to faith. When you clap your hands up, I'm talking about faith to faith. When we face trouble, we may get frustrated, yeah. angry, yeah. even do dumb things. Oh, yeah. Hello? Uh-huh. But it's actually what we do in the face of trouble that show how much Christ is dwelling in our lives. Sometimes being a child of God feels like you're in a pressure cooker. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been there. Yeah. I, I know what it's like to be under pressure. Yeah. How do you react when you face troubling situations on, that you can't fix on your own? Who do you call on? Praise God. I, I, I don't want to rob Sister Ruthie of her testimony, but amen. She just wants a car. Thank God she knew who to call on. She's riding now. Yes, she is. She was facing trouble. Yeah. But she knew how to, who to call on. Yeah. I got a report that's yesterday evening. She's riding. She got a note to pay. And she gave me this testimony. Her boss, daughter, called her and told her whatever she owed on the car, she gonna pay the whole note off. Woo! 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 Woo!
the God who give us the wisdom and the strength to do what it takes to conquer those troubles. Amen. We looked at lot of the scriptures, many Bible characters, David, Jonah, mm -hmm. Joseph, mm -hmm. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. Bandit. Uh -huh. They all faced giants. Uh, but it's amazing. How they faced the giants. And they conquered the giants. And the way they conquered the giants, it was faith to faith. The just shall live by faith. When you clap your hands on the Lord, faith. Faith. And she said, sir, 
And if it wasn't for you, I would have never made it yet. But I put my eyes on you, and you helped me make it. Yet. We thank the Lord, hallelujah. Stay in the race. Stay in the race. There's no telling who you can have to make it yet. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. One of the things that help Apostle Paul be found contentment in Christ. Yes. Despite extreme difficult circumstances. Contentment during the time of trouble. Yeah. Those concepts seem to be <laughs> complete opposite. Yeah. But through the power of the Holy Ghost. We can have contentment. No matter how the trouble, troublesome, and our circumstances may be. Through the power of the Holy Ghost, we can find contentment. When we find our strength in Christ alone, trouble, distress, and despair cannot exist. And the more we trust the Lord to take over, the more peaceful and content we'll be. Joseph and all he went to, the many giants he faced. Nowhere do you find in the word of God that he cursed about it. God's mad. He found contentment everywhere he went. Even when the woman tried to seduce him, he got up and ran, got thrown in prison. He faced his times with commitment. He held on Faith to faith. And the Lord delivered him every time. But well, we have to learn how to face the giants. Regardless of the trouble, we have to learn how to face the giants. You see that story when David faced the lion. It depicts a young lad. No doubt in my mind that he was afraid. But somehow David had faith. Faith in his God to stand up against the giants. Because he had faith in God to stand up against the giants. You know who stood with him? The Lord himself. And when you decide to face the giants that you have to face in your life, if you stand up and face the giants, you got somebody standing right with you. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. We got there. You got somebody standing right with you. Praise, your, uh, praise God. Would you stand? Oh, yes. One of the biggest giants that I had to face in this past year was a giant. Losing someone that you built a family with for over 52 years. Oh, yes. What a giant to face. Oh, yes. Hello. That's enough to do some dumb and stupid things. Oh, yes. But you know what the Lord told me? He said, keep on walking. You know what? I faced my giant. And I got to 
I go to bed at night. I get up. I go about a business. Hello? I'm not living in the valley. You know why? Because I faced my giant. And I faced it in the right way. Will you clap your hands in the Lord? Thank you, Lord. Let every head bow and every eye close. If you honest with yourself, you walked in here with giants on your trail. And the Lord wants to help you to face those giants.
Hallelujah. 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 